Hi everybody, today I will show you how to enable push notification in WordPress. So let's just begin. So first of all, you have to log in into your WordPress account and after that you have to go into the plugins and we have to add the new plugin to enable the push notifications. Okay, so in the plugins, we need to install one signal plugin here. And as you can see that we have this one signal web push notifications by one signal. So we have to install this plugin and we have to activate this plugin okay so as you can see here we have activated our push notifications plugin okay so now we we'll simply go there into the one signal push and now we have to follow these steps to add the web push to our wordpress blog so the first step to create the one signal account or we can log in into our existing account if we have the account and the second step is to create the web push app and one signal and the last one is to set up the web push app and the one signal web push editor okay so first of all what we need to do we actually have to go inside the one signal all right so from here we actually have to create the account first so i would just simply click on the sign up so here you can actually use your email or you can go with the gmail facebook or the github account so i will simply use my email here okay so now let's just check on the terms of the service let's just click on the create account all right so i have to change the password here click again as you can see the different plans here so we have the four plans the enterprise the professional the growth and the free so i will simply go with the free plan okay so now we have to go to our gmail to verify our email here and from here i can simply confirm my account so let's click here and we have successfully created our account here so we have to start with the basics all right so let's just skip the other options okay so i have to select any option from here let's just click on the continue and now we have to write down the name of the app which is actually the VB. I will complete this letter. So now as you can see that we have created our one signal app and now we must have to configure it. Okay, so let's click on the setup platform. And here I actually want to activate the notifications on the web browser. So I simply have to click on the web browser, click on the activate. And as we know that we are using the WordPress website, so I simply click on the WordPress and click on the WordPress here. Now we have to write down the name of our website and we have to provide the URL of our website. So let's go to our website and from here we would actually copy the URL, go back to here and paste the URL and from here we can actually upload the icon. So click on the upload and you can upload the URL from Facebook, Google Drive. You can also see the other options here but I will actually choose the image from my computer. That is it. Click here. Okay. so. We just have to save this okay so the icon is actually uploaded okay so in the last we actually have the advanced push setting so i will simply skip this and click on the save here so from here you can see that we have the app id we have the api key and we have the safari web id so let's just copy the app id from here now let's just go back to our uh, wordpress website and click on the configuration and from here you just have to paste the app id and in the similar way, I will just simply go back. We will copy the API key and paste our API key here. And in the last, we have the Safari web ID. So for the Safari web ID, we simply copy this and go back to our WordPress and paste our ID here. All right, so we also have the send notification settings. So we can use the post featured image for the notification icon and we can also use the post featured image for the Chrome large notification image as well. So I'll just keep the values of both of these options like this. And we have this notification title and we have this prompt setting and the subscription bill. And if you wanted to show the one signal slide prompt uh, to the new site visitor automatically, you simply enable this. Okay, so I think we are good with these settings. So I won't do any customization in these settings here. All right. And from here, as you can see that we can actually customize the prompt text we can change the button text and we can also change the other things here and we also have the welcome notification settings okay so you can change the title you can change the message all right so now let's just save this all right so we have configured our push notification so now let's just go into the google chrome and i will simply paste the url of our website here and now you will be able to see the push notification here okay so as you can see here we have this push notification so if i allow this I will be getting the notification on every new post. Okay, so now if I go back to my WordPress website and from here, I will be simply creating the new post. So I will click on the add new post. So just create the new post here. 
I will simply write down new post test and I will also like to add the image here okay so let's click here on this block and click on the add here and click on the image click on the media library so let's just click on this image here select this so now in the post as you can see here so we have this one signal push notifications so if you want to enable the push notifications for every post you simply check this and click on the publish and if i change the screen now you will be able to see the push notification here so as you can see here we have the title of our website and we also have the title of our post so this is how we can use a one signal push notification so now let's go back to the account of one signal you will be able to see our app here so if i just click here and open the dashboard you can see that we have the one subscription that i have done myself and this is the analytics of our push notification that how many subscription we got how many active subscription we have and we also have these other options so that is all for this video and if you really find this video helpful hit the like button and subscribe the channel